it is right. So it'll be interesting to see which side that affects more. There you go. I like that. I like an exciting start. <laughs> Marathon style start. Yep. The check in the middle flying off the start. Stuff really off. is. Really wanting to make a statement early on. Was that the check or the Italian flying out there? I don't know, but Rask immediately onto the wash of Pimenta. Marco Bogatti from Italy. You saw Carl in the background from South Africa. It's Bogatti, the Italian. Yeah, the Italian who charged out of the, uh, the starting blocks. Lindbergh there. So... A bit of a jostle going on here now. We'll see who can get into the best position. Rask and Pimenta right next to each other, keeping an eye on each other. But Pimenta... Kolek from Hungary looking very strong. I think he's going to take the lead. Pimenta, we might come to the wash of Pimenta. It's always hard to tell. It's Cornel Becker closest to the camera. The second Hungarian flying with Sam Butcher on his wash. And it's three distinct leaders. And this is going to get fascinating. A really good start here. Very interesting start. Pimenta always looks like he's just having a leisurely stroll, doesn't he, through the water, but he's... So powerful, you yeah. know. Like, you can see he looks more relaxed in both the Hungarians. Ronan Foley and Lindbergh might start fighting for the wash there. Foley immediately goes to the outside. Kolek looking very strong. Yo. So, and Rask's now trying to move up around the outside of Kolek. BK coming around Kolek to get the front wash and is successful. And now Foley will be interesting to see if he starts attacking uh, Cornell. So the rotations are beginning already. The Ooh. guards are already jostling for position. Look at Foley. He's trying to make a big move here, the Irishman. Fantastic. And Rask on the other side, two very accomplished marathon paddlers on either side of Pimenta, who in his own right is the reigning K2 marathon world champion. So. He, They'll be good in the pool He's this. just having a nice old time out the front of it, isn't he? Look at him, just... He's such a powerful paddler. Oh, man. Like, that's why it looks so easy. His catch when the blade enters the water is incredible. Like, if you want to watch someone with a good technique, with the timing, with everything, Pimenta is just unbelievable. And that's years and years of work. Because, like, I think his technique's improved even since he was already a world medalist in 2015. Like, I, he just keeps getting better. It's incredible. Yeah, no, he oh. is. Hungarian Mr. Boy there. There's another boat. Sam Butcher missing a boy. Oh, That's disappointing. No, no, no. Yeah, and now the camera on him. <laughs> I should be quiet now. No, no. <laughs> we're staying in the same flat. I'll be Are quiet. you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, Sam. We're still right behind you, mate. Uh, so that means you just had to go back there and go around the boy. So some valuable ground lost there. Rask looking comfortable on the wave, on the wash of Pimenta. Ronan Foley, the speed's picking up. You can see how strung out it is. Ronan, but both those paddlers looking relaxed. Thing is, uh, with Pimenta, you can always back yourself. You know that at some stage, at one of the portages, he's probably going to lose some ground. Unless he's been working on it in the off season, unless he's been working on his portage, but it used to be. I'll uh, go out on a limb and say it's going to be fine today. Okay. Ross cutting up, switching sides to hurt Ronan. Pimenta, the speed is high. You can see by how the guys are fighting in the back. Lindbergh, Pimenta stops straight away. We'll see how those portages are. Oh, okay. my God. <laughs> Come on, Fernando. Focus. I'll give that one to you. Yeah, yeah. That was... He didn't lose too much ground, but uh, the, the, the boat just slipping away there a little bit. Look at the move from Ronan. He's making a statement. Uh, Ronan running very well. Nice bit of running there from Foley. Look at that. He's been doing a bit of leg work over the winter. Oh, and he's in, and he might be in the lead. Let's have a look. Yeah, he will be pull slow from Pimenta. Oh, Fernando. Uh, so, a new Nello boat. Oh, and there's a mess going on there. What's happening there? Rask the is not happy. He is Becker. not happy with Becker. He's... That was chaotic. Carl Friedenstein having a good race, and Sam Butcher as well, the two South Africans. Pushing, just taking it calm and slow. An American as well, running strong. So that was very, very interesting, that portage, as we would expect some, some damage being done there. Oh, so Pimenta now, as he got back into the lead, I think he has. He's such an incredible paddler when you see a close-up like yeah. that. It's just yeah. unbelievable. So Rask, you could see, got very unhappy there with the, uh, with I think it was Beke, the Hungarian. They really good in each other's way a little bit. So there's Pimenta, almost lost his boat there. Look at that. Ooh, yeah, back. the momentum. It's very similar to Balish Adolf in the C1 race. The momentum just keeps the boat moving away. 
Lindbergh's very endurance, like his very high endurance speed. So it'll be interesting to see if he can maybe catch up. He's not far behind there. Did well though to get that back. And now, if we have a look at, there he is, Pimenta out in front. Foley's currently sitting in second. I've got to say, Pimenta's put some big distance there between himself and the rest of the field. So Foley, Foley and Rask together. Foley and Rask together, just trying to get back in touch with Pimenta. They'll work together. Yeah, I think these guys will definitely work together. There'll be no games now for the next little bit. You see Ronan looking back at Torben asking to do some work, but he doesn't come through. So Torben pretending he doesn't speak Irish. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what are you saying? I don't, I don't understand you. Yeah, yeah. And this group working well together, but Pimenta's gone. You're He's made the move, hasn't he? Yeah. He's made it. Oh, look at him now. In fact. Wow, he really now he's making the statement. He's saying, well, if I'm going to keep stuffing up my portages, I want to get a bit of gap between myself and the rest of the field. And he has made a big move here. Look at that. It's a good move. It's not permanent yet. Um, that is catchable, I think. But it's hard to catch Pimento. Wow. Yeah, exactly. If the, these two will have to work together very well. I really believe they will. And Rask is pulling strong there. But they were looking behind. Maybe they're more worried about the group behind. This is unbelievable pattern. Yep. That is, this is vintage Pimenta. He comes down now for the second portage. Double Hungary, Sweden and Czech making up the third group. Jost Zakoshek and Karl Friedenstein just behind them as well. So here he comes, Pimenta, into the second portage. What's he going to do this time? He's gone on the opposite side this time, hasn't he? I think he has. So Pimenta... Oh, he's slower. nearly done it again. It's slower, but yep. he's got time to play with now. Yep. So I think he'll just keep it calmer. It's also fatigue from paddling so fast, Yeah, I think. Oh, and Rask has fallen. Oh, oh and, and Fowler has had problems as well. They've both... Rask fell when he got out of his boat. And Foley as well, staggering there. So they've both lost a little bit of ground here. And meanwhile, Pimenta at the front has, uh, I think he's got back into the water okay, but both Foley and Rask there having some trouble getting out of their boats. Oh, it's a bit Carl of speed Friedenstein there. running very fast. Very he's fast. gonna catch the group in front, it's fantastic for him. He's a very endurant paddler, surf ski background as well. So the distance won't be a problem for Carl. Well, once again, it's the portages where all the action happens. Races can be turned on their head at a portage. What's interesting with this race as well, because it's long, the guys are more geared for the 1,000 meter and perhaps the 500 meter with the paddle size and just their overall training, how they gear their bodies. So, so you can see some really difference in how the changes, some of the more endurance geared paddlers will really come through this race. But that's just smooth, yep. calm, Yep. Powerful. Pimenta still no change to the gap there between Pimenta and uh, the uh, Rask and Foley. Rask and Foley maybe even lost a bit of ground. They both had some problems getting out of their boats on that. If we see a replay of it, you'll see Rask fell over uh, as he got out of the boat. And then Foley also had some trouble getting his boat out of the water. So both of them lost a bit of, a bit of ground there. You could see from that side on shot of Pimenta how fast he's actually still moving eight minutes into this race. Oh, look at the gap. Rask on his own. Yep. So where's Foley gone? Foley's dropped off a little bit. So Rask has now got to do all this work on, him, on himself by himself. Roland Foley's with Lindbergh there. They'll work together. Rask isn't safe there. Um, I think Pimentz is too far now, but uh, Rask is definitely not safe in second on his own. Those two work. It could be a three ball for two medals in a couple of minutes. Oh, no, Ronan's getting Ronan's, dropped by. Ronan's now being dropped by. Lind Lind this is dangerous. So Lindbergh is a very, very good paddler. You see him there, stroke rate high, moving yep. well, Lindbergh. Yep. He's, he's going to uh, make good time here. He's, in fact, he's closing in now on Rask as well. So in a moment, Rask and Lindbergh will come together. You see Pimenta's boat bouncing around in the wind. The wind's very strong out there now down the course. So Pimenta still doing everything right, except possibly even, oh, look, I've got to say, by Pimenta standards, the portages today have been not bad at all. He's improved a lot. 
look at the gap closing there between Rask and Lindbergh. Though. Lindbergh looks good, doesn't he? He's looking strong and fast in the water. Lindbergh will be with Rask by the portage. Yep. Carl looking strong there in the shot with the Hungarians. Fantastic for Carl. As he raced a thousand, and then now this is his first international experience. So that's really, he'll be, he'll be loving this right now. Really digging deep there with the. I think, he's, I think he's loving it a bit more than Ronan might be loving it. I'm not sure what's going on there. Ronan's hit. He's going through a stage. You hit, you hit walls, don't you, uh, it, Callum? In these races, it comes so quickly in the wall, and the water just turns to concrete, and you can't yeah. even catch the water anymore. Yeah. It's well, done. Here we go. What's going to? Oh my goodness. He's got time. He's got time. He he'll matter. be fine. It doesn't matter. He yeah, he'll be fine. He could stop here and order a cappuccino if he wanted. Although it's a bit late. Not in yet. Day. Not yet. No. <laughs> uh, not yet. So Pimenta clearly in the lead. Now we have Rask getting out of the water, and right behind him, Lindbergh, who's gone around, and Lindbergh is now out of the water. Wow. Fancy takeout. That's Great. a marathon takeout. Yeah, it is. He's 101. Got a lot of water in that boat, though. He might win into that. Now, Ronan Foley is in trouble oh, here. They're he's all broken. He Ronan's is. had a long week of training. Yeah. A very long week. Oh, not of racing, I mean. Like, he raced the European qualifier first. Oh, Zavro also tired. Yeah. yeah. There's some very tired bodies out there. Lindbergh Linder. is in the water and underway. Yeah, these three athletes looking strong, Jost and the Hungarian, and the Japanese athletes on the far side all looking very strong. The wild water Slovenian seems to be struggling a bit, but yeah. he's a good group here, so he just needs to hang in touch with them. He'll be very good in these uh, trickier conditions. Here's Kolek, the Hungarian, well back in the field. Jakub Zavrol's very tired. He's a very well accomplished 500 meter paddler, but. Maybe the five. Are. are they working? It looks like they're, they're talking to each other. They were deciding yeah. what they're going to do. Yeah, they're talking to each other. Lindbergh taking a strong lead there, and Pimenta marching on. So Pimenta, he doesn't. He will not care, will he, Callum, about being out by himself and not having anyone putting the pressure on him. I think Pimenta loves being out in front. Oh, look at that! Ouch! Oh, none of that looks good. That's oh, sweet. every he's, he's banged the arm, he's banged the left knee, he's banged the right knee. He's given the whole body a bit of a workout there. I think this is going 100% according to plan for Pimenta. Out in front, can paddle his own rhythm yep. and just can maybe afford a couple of mistakes, but he's got the time in the bank and he's pulling away. He's still the fastest moving boat in the water. Yeah, yeah it's, it's daylight second at the moment. This is such an impressive performance from the Portuguese. Third race, Champion. as we as third medal of the regatta, if he can get it to the finish. Yep. It's always doing, Pimenta's always doing a hard schedule and always well, pulling it off. I mean, today he's had, uh, he, had a, he had a semi-final in the thousand. He had a really difficult thousand metre final, which I know he'd probably be a little bit disappointed about, even though he won a medal. Um, and now he's backing up for the 5,000. He just loves competing, doesn't he, Callum? I mean, for many athletes, they'd be thinking, in an Olympic year, I, do I want to be doing a race where I'm jumping in and out of a boat doing portages and stuff like that? There'd be a lot who would say, no, I don't want to do it. I don't want to take the risk. Pimenta loves competing, and yeah. he, he has a lot of fun out there, I think. Uh, he, he, he really is a fantastic athlete and a fantastic role model to many athletes on how you must just really go out there and give your best and not be scared to just like pick one or two races but really go for it and i think the top three in the thousand um all those athletes love racing Copa is obviously doing 500 and thousand double adam varga will race at every opportunity possible and pimenta also it's a fantastic role models for younger athletes on how you really must just give it your all in all your races and really go for it so pimenta coming down now for i believe the fourth are we up to the fourth Portage? I think so. So one more after this for Fernando Pimenta. He's trying a different side this time, a different tactic, and that seems to have worked for him. Yeah, better this time from yep. Pimenta. So Pimenta still enjoys that commanding lead. He's got one more lap, one more portage to go. Just lost his number board there, but yeah, <laughs> the 5K, the number boards often yep. end up getting number not boards. to the finish. The number boards and the rudders. Yo, I broke my rudder off from this race last year. So. Oh, Rask has had a lot of trouble. That's about the third time I've seen him do that. Fatigue's kicking in and maybe a bit rusty with the marathon portages. Yeah. I know he's been going, he's been training with the sprint group 
um, full time this year, as far as I know. So. Yeah, but he's, that's at least two, maybe three times I've seen him slip as he gets out of the water. But Rusty, no. Nah. Yeah. South African boy's doing all right. Too. Always good on the boards. He's yeah. having a fantastic race to be with the Hungarians. I think Carl is really, really performing to his limits and getting the most out of himself. I'm very happy for him. He also had two thousands today, semi and final, yeah. and yeah. he was exhausted after those, and he's still pushing hard. You see, South Africans aren't uh, not worried about being in the thick of things. He'll uh, he'll sleep well tonight. Yeah, he will. You, you can see the South Africans are used to the side-by-side -side race and more comfortable yeah. in a big group like this. Kolek seems to be paying for his earlier efforts into the wind off the start. He was right up there with Pimenta in one of those three spearheads, but now this, uh, the, the water's turned to concrete for him, I think. So at the front of the course, it is Pimenta just continuing to go along his merry way, enjoying the afternoon sunshine there out in front of this men's K1 5000. He's got one more portage to go and then he can do a glory, uh, a, a, a lap for the crowd. I hope but Cornell Baker is getting some nice footage with that GoPro on his boat and posts it somewhere we can watch. Well, yes, he's doing it. It's, uh, it's for the ICF, I believe, so oh, hopefully okay. we'll get some... Uh, I'm amazed it's last through all those portages. <laughs> yeah, I would be, I'd put the, you know, you buy that floater for the yeah, back of it. That's the first yeah. thing I would have put on that thing. Um, Pimenta, so it's still looking smooth. Here we go. Let's watch this exit here from Rask. What's going on here? He's done this. Just, oh, just tripping over his own feet, is he? A little bit? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. The winds also, because it's coming a bit from the side, will blow the boat away from you when you get out on that side of the JD, I think. Yeah. Oh, and then, yeah. Down into the water, yeah, that's... Hopefully he's okay, his foot's okay. So Pimenta now coming around the, the corner at the top of the course. He'll come down now to do the final portage. Rask uh, is... Rask is still hanging on at the moment. To, to to Lindbergh, but they it's, it's Lindbergh and Rask who are still paddling together in second and third, but um, I think they've given up any hope at all of pegging back Fernando Pimenta. Pimenta would have to fall in the water here. I think they're racing for second. You can see from the body language. Yep. Lindbergh there looking at Rask. I would be, I would be backing in Lindbergh, I reckon. It'll be interesting. The f it's all going to come down to the final portage. Um, end sprint... Rask is very quick, so if there's a break on the final portage, then I think Lindbergh, but if they're together, I think Rask, it'll, it'll be very interesting. It's hard to call. So Pimenta coming down, he's swapping sides again. He's just mixing it up now. Every time he does this, though, his boat gets away from him. How's he going to go this time? No, he's, he's yeah. learned his lesson. He knows what to do now. He just drags that foot behind him. He's it's got the luxury of time to do that. He has. It's, yeah. it, it does get better when yeah. you're not in a rush. Yeah. No, there's uh, Fernando taking the opportunity there to flex a muscle too. He's doing, if there are photos being taken, I want, I want people to see my biceps. I think he was emptying the boat, but yeah. I, it's also a second opportunity yeah. for that. <laughs> yeah, we love Fernando. There goes the bell. Pimenta is on his way. Lindbergh and Rask together. Together. Okay. Who's going to make the move? You're, I think they're going to stay together now. It's hard. You reckon they'll take, stay together and just try and sprint at the finish? Yeah, I think so. But we'll see. The Putin's important here. Very fast put in from Lindbergh and Rask. Yeah, showing there. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What was that, Faye? So like, <laughs> it was like maybe he was impressed with himself that he got it right. Yeah, all. thank goodness he thought. Yeah. Yep. He was, the something was going through his head. It'll be interesting to ask him after the race. Yeah. yeah. Yost looking good, yeah. Also a great endurance paddler. Yep. Very experienced paddler. Carl attacking the Whoa, Hungarian and the Japanese, the Japanese athlete on the portage. Yep. yep. So the interesting race is definitely for second and third at the moment. Pimenta has the gold medal wrapped up. Second and third between Rask. Lindbergh exactly. will be fascinating to watch. So Rask and Lindbergh still together at this stage. Although has Lindbergh now made a bit of a move? Let's just check this out. So Pimenta is in front. And in fact, just seems to be getting faster, is he? <laughs> I think. 
I still think he's the fastest moving boat on the course. These yeah. two athletes are together. Rask on the wave, looking around, trying to gauge the situation coming into the final turn and final sprint. So for Minton now, he's just enjoying himself and uh, maybe thinking ahead to what's in store in the next couple of weeks. Sam Butcher running well for South Africa. He missed the boy in the first turn, so really unlucky, but he's still moving well, which is good to see. Butcher boy is in and away. Good South African put in. Yep. Yeah. So it is just Lindbergh just in front of Rask at the moment. Let's see if we can focus a little bit on that battle because I'm really interested to see when the move is going to be made and who will make it first. At the moment, it's Lindbergh just in front of Rask. Pimenta coming around now for the sprint to the finish. There you go. So Lindbergh holding out Rask at the moment. Now, there will be a challenge from Rask, I think. This is, far, this is going to be a very fascinating last 300 metres. It will be interesting to see when Rask pulls the trigger, whether he does it early to try and make it a long burn or whether he leaves it for the last 100 and just like a drag race. It'll, it'll depend on how he's feeling, won't it? Maybe he's just feeling I've only got enough energy for one last sprint, a 100 metre yeah. sprint or something. It's very, the last 100 up and over the wash is very effective tactic in this situation, so we'll see. So they turn for the sprint home. Pimenta is now around 300 metres from the finish line. Lindbergh is in front. Now Rask is moving up alongside him. Rask is trying to make a bit of a move. Rask and Lindbergh just behind Pimenta. Pimenta will come down now and take the gold. Pimenta coming in for the gold. Lindbergh's pulling very fast on the second group. Lindbergh is holding off at the moment. Now Rask is switching sides. Switch sides. He's switched to the other side of Lindbergh here. Maybe he's seen something that might give him an edge, but Lindbergh is holding him out. I think Lindbergh is going to defy Rask having one last crack. Big move from Rask. Let's see. It's Get him working. on the camera. Let's see that battle for second. Well done, That's Pimenta. where the race is. Rask flying home over the top. What a race. Lindbergh trying to hold on, but Rask I think has judged this to perfection. Great. What a sprint. move. What a move from Thorben Rask there to take the silver medal. So explosive over 10 strokes. Really to was. Get up and over the wave. Really, really was. Lindbergh tried to go with him, but Rask said, nope, not today, my friend. And they are good friends, I think. They uh, appreciate the company that they've kept. Yost coming in for fourth. Yeah, that's a good race, isn't it, for Yost? Very measured race. The last two laps have been very good for him. Yep. But fantastic win for Pimenta today. Got a bit overshadowed by the fantastic in sprint for second, but Pimenta completely dominant. Yeah, that is a that is 